If we're honest with ourselves, we're all pretty tied to our smartphones, especially teens who can't seem to look away from that five inch screen. Are they feeling the FOMO, the fear of missing out? Or could this be the beginnings of an addiction? ABC's TJ Holmes finds out. Now, this interview here is going to take about 30 minutes. Okay. Are you going to be able to make it 30 minutes without looking at your phone? <laughs> I'm going to try it, yes. Yeah, so you sure you all right? I can do it. <laughs> Jason Clark loves his smartphone. No surprise there, he's a 15-year-old. But he's so attached to it, his family worries he might actually one day need therapy to get his phone habit under control. You've been on the phone how much time? Four today? hours. Four hours. Four hours. We asked Jason to put an app on his phone to track his phone use. So what was yesterday? <sighs> yesterday, six hours. His mom, Tamika, says there are days it's been eight, even 12 hours. She thinks his phone use has crossed the line. When you're talking about addiction, you're talking about, I can't live without it. You think he's dependent on that phone? Oh, I know he is. Cell phone addiction isn't officially designated as a clinical disorder, like drug or alcohol addiction, but Dr. Edward Spector thinks it should be. He treats people for what he calls compulsive use of technology. Their brains change in similar ways to real chemical addicts. That sounds nuts. Well, if you talk to the parents of my clients, yeah. they come in and they say, my kid's like a junkie. They feel like it's an addiction. But when does it go from being normal, acceptable teenage behavior to a problem that needs to be addressed? When we talk about a compulsion, it's not the behavior, it's whether you have control over it. Clark says she worries her son fits the definition and his compulsion is affecting other parts of his life. She says as his smartphone use has gone up, his grades have gone down, and she's noticed changes in his behavior. When somebody freaks out because you're taking something that they have an emotional attachment to, it is an addiction. Jason says there's nothing abnormal about his phone use and doesn't believe it has a major impact on other parts of his life, though he does admit he could probably stand to cut back later. Now, I'm about to end this interview. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing you're going to do? Check my phone. At least he's honest. Our thanks to TJ Holmes.